All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. All right. Uh, Shalom with the brothers here from Great Millstone, Atlanta. I got the Bishop of Ratazai and the uh, the Captain of um, uh, Gamalia Allah with me today. Uh, but before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakadash. All right. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. Peace, safety, much love unto the elect that scattered around the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to make their calling of election sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a quick live stream in the spirit, you know, um, dealing with how we have the secrets of the most high. Um, and when you read uh, Jeremiah, the first chapter, um, it speaks about how the Lord has sanctified and ordained certain spirits to prophesy to the nations. And those uh, those spirits that were ordained hold the secrets of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And what are the secrets? The secrets are the prophecies. Okay, because these prophecies they were sealed. Okay, and Yahweh Shai loosed the seals. Okay, and gave that understanding through the Holy Spirit unto the prophets. Okay, so we're living in a time where only a select few amount of men have those secrets um, of the records. Okay, uh, so I just wanted to open up and I'm just tossing it on over to the brother Ratazai. All right, I'm gonna start off with this uh, scripture. This is going to the topic. This is uh, Deuteronomy. 29 and 29 it says the secret things belong unto the lord our power mm -hmm. which the secret things is what is wisdom lies and understanding is truth man all right it says but those things which are revealed belong unto us which ultimately to us is referring to the elect man all right because only the elect of yahweh bashim yahusha have these uh these mysteries these secrets all right mm -hmm. the uh, uh the wisdom lies and understanding of this word man Okay, it wasn't given to, to everybody. All right. It says, um, it says, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law, mm -hmm. which really the law represents the whole Bible. Man. That's right. All right, not just uh as the scholars say the, the, the you know the laws of Moses or the first five books, ultimately this whole uh book, man. All right, and this was that understanding was only given to the elect yeah because you got like men you yeah. got the law of faith which is in the new test right um you got the uh the command um of uh <coughs> the certain things that paul put out there in the spirit mm -hmm. okay um you know certain things are like go to the highways and byways there's not a law in the old testament there's written exactly. in the new testament exactly so like what the what the uh, elder brother is saying the the law is talking about the whole bible mm -hmm. you know? That's right. Just to back your point up. Yep, that was it on that. Uh, right. I got one real quick. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna get um Proverbs three and thirty two. Mm -hmm. It says, "For the forward is an abomination to the Lord, but His secret is with the righteous." Mm -hmm. And who is the righteous? That's right. The righteous are are the Israelites, and out of the stock of Israel or the lineage of Israel, the Lord has a a, a, a second or a favorite um spirits out of the the the, the righteous mm -hmm. and those are the prophets the 144,000 men are all prophets okay because you know you prophesy we go out and we prophesy okay some brothers have the gift of prophecy more than others but yet and still if you prophesy the, the the right way the scriptures and break them down the right way then that makes you a prophet of the lord and the 144,000 men are all prophets because mm -hmm. we 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 speaking the uh the, the the prophecies of the bible mm -hmm. okay and a lot of a a, a a a lot of people don't know these prophecies a lot of people right. don't even know certain prophecies exist mm -hmm. it's people walking around out here right now that has never heard of what what the mark of the beast is right 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 you know they don't even know it, it seems kind of far-fetched because because we've been knowing for for you know quite a while mm -hmm. but it's people out here that has never heard of a mark of the beast there's right. people out here that don't know nothing about World War Three. Know about the twelve tribes. 12 yeah, tribes, yeah, yeah. You know, don't <clears throat> know about the twelve tribes or or, or, or martial law, family. Mm -hmm. They don't know these things exist. So that's why the Lord gave those secrets to certain individuals to proclaim it unto the ones that don't know, because the book was sealed. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yeah, I, I'll read it again. Come. Uh, Proverbs. Slaki. Proverbs three and thirty-two. It says the forward is an abomination to the lord but his secret is with the righteous and then like you, like you mentioned too how uh the lord has uh ultimately the nation of israel is the righteous 
all right when you uh compare all the nations mm -hmm. but even within that like you mentioned it's, it's always been a remnant yeah? yep even going back to the beginning it's always been a, a remnant of, of israelites of chosen uh souls that uh basically was chosen by yahab by shim yahab shah man. Right, right? Man. and these these mysteries and these secrets always rest upon them after yeah uh time after time after time man. Yep. all right coming back into their life the lord always bestows that wisdom upon them man that's right you know and the man have it now mm -hmm. yeah. you know like the scripture says the lord is going to raise up uh, prophets in his name mm -hmm. you know that in the last days is going to teach the word that's right you mm -hmm. know that's that's what the secrets is given to man right. mm -hmm. and then how you mentioned also too how uh you got people that don't even know the prophecies some of these people been you know been having the bible all their whole life yeah yep. they're going to church you know sunday after sunday for yep. hours you ask them who's you know, god who's right. god <laughs> nothing who's that <laughs> right. you know, it's like bugging out looking yeah, around they, they act like you shooting a chopper <laughs> i got uh i got you know? something to add real quick yep, uh, yep, to uh, back up your, your brother's point uh, this is the definition and add them online mm -hmm. uh this is ignorance okay oh, yeah. ignorance means lack of wisdom or not or knowledge and it says uh from latin ignorantia mm -hmm. it says want of knowledge or act of ignoring all right yeah, yeah so yeah. uh to back up uh your brother's point is you know these people they basically uh uh they they don't know they lack wisdom and, and knowledge mm -hmm. okay you know and and that's the masses the majority of the people they have no understanding you know especially israel pursuing the uh hosea four and six mm -hmm. uh, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge mm -hmm. and that's all it is is our people just don't know you know and and that's why the lord has put uh his spirit upon his men to inform you that's okay right. to give you a uh, uh wisdom because uh the word ignorance says once once of of uh knowledge right mm -hmm. so these people want they want to know better but they just don't know so right. they need someone to show them yeah brothers got it that's right and uh just to uh add uh to what brothers is, is going into the, the brother rocks i bought out a point about how the lord had always uh, preserved the remnant mm -hmm. this is isaiah 9 I mean, 1 and 9. it says uh, except the lord had, of host had left unto us a very small remnant notice mm -hmm. it says very it describes mm -hmm. you know the scarcity of, of that remnant um and that's that's a, a beautiful thing for the lord to join uh, uh the brothers back together in the spirit to uh, proclaim these prophecies man. Mm -hmm. all right because we and, and the spirit we could have been born anywhere mm -hmm. you know, we could have been born in you know uh, in asia mm -hmm. we could have been born in 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 this islands somewhere or you know uh, uh in the philippines or yeah. in india you know um but the lord uh you know he put the spirit for us to come up and, and meet in certain cities man mm -hmm. so what's the eyes of that very small number reconnecting out of all of these people in the world that very small number, that very small remnant, is reconnecting in in, in these uh, cities, man. That's that's rare. That's right. That's rare, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that the Lord said, instead of He preserved a very small remnant, it says, uh, "We would have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah." You know, meaning, uh, uh, you know, the world would have been totally destroyed, man. Right. Okay. But because Yahweh Bashim Shah preserved that remnant. And the, the, the first the first one that was preserved was Yahweh Shah because mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. made the sacrifice. So he's a part of that remnant too. He's the head of it. And uh because he's done so, we're able to uh to reclaim world dominance through professing these prophecies, mm -hmm. through being obedient to, to coming out and, 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 and proclaiming and pushing uh the the, the, the secrets that Esau hid, man. Right. Through his through his deception and his lies and his propaganda. He's hid all of this, man. He's hid the scriptures. He's hid the breakdowns. He's yep. he's hid the uh the the true images of the of the uh people in the Bible. The, ar the artifacts, yes. artifacts yeah. you know, the um the all the um uh uh you know all the stuff uh, uh Esau got it somewhere uh hoarded up, mm -hmm. you know, um different different biblical artifacts and stuff of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know. It's all hidden. I got a precept. Were you done on that? I'm done. Okay. This is a uh, Sirach 39 and one, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. 
Yeah, that's right. And that's yeah, the exactly. spirit of a, of, a, of, a, of a man, a man that's a prophet today is going to do these things. It says uh, he's going to be occupied in the meditation and seek out the wisdom of all the ancient ancient. And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. That's what uh, uh, the Lord or that's the spirit that the Lord put on great millstone yep. to do. That's right. I OK, I keep going. Um, it's a few verses. I'll just skip. Skip. Uh, uh, verse two, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and were subtle and were, where subtle parables are, he will be there also. Here's uh verse three, he will seek out this he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences mm. and be conversant in dark parables. Mm. You know, hey, so hey, all these um um dark parables and, and <clears throat> grave sentences, you know, because these these scriptures aren't easy to understand. You actually have to have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai in order to understand these parables. Um, like uh, Yahweh Shai, when he was speaking amongst the people, what uh, the people, the multitude would always say, you know, we can't, we can't understand. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Oh, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But they were basically saying, you know, uh, basically, you know, it was going above their heads. Yeah. Because he spoke in in parables. Okay. He spoke. Uh, and what did he tell the disciples? He told them, unto you it is given yep. to know the mysteries of the kingdom. I keep going. Um, it says, uh, I'll go to verse six. It says, when the, when the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge and his secrets shall he meditate. In, slack it. And in his secrets shall he meditate. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got it. Right, you got it. Yeah, that's right. And that's when we bring out that uh precept that you quoted. This is uh Matthew's 13 and uh we'll start at nine. It says, Who have ears to hear, let him hear. Mm. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Mm. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Yep. See, if, if yep. I can say something yep. too, yep. Yep. that goes to show you that, hey man, we don't have to get emotional uh, because people don't get the secrets, man. That's right, mm -hmm. that's right. We'll have to get mad and be like, you, you fucking niggas don't get it, man. <laughs> you know, right, right. getting on, hey, it's like, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 I mean, hey, it. you know, I don't know what to tell you then, my man. Mm -hmm. You right. know, you make sure you take care of yourself now. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's right. it ain't, you know, it's, when you have a secret, you, you really, you really got the advantage. Mm -hmm. You were inside you know, the insiders don't necessarily get all emotional and and become an emotional wreck because other people don't get it. It's given to you. You mm -hmm. the insider. So that's why all we have to do is just teach, just proclaim it, just push it. You know, there's no need for uh uh you know emotions to be intertwined with, with, with the secrets of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. They are what they are. Mm -hmm. If, if they're gonna get it, they're gonna get it. If not, they not. That's why Yahweh Shah said that too. That's right. It is given unto you. So we living in those same times where the Lord has revived that spirit within certain members of the body. And you see it through their works. Mm -hmm. You're not a prophet if you're on Facebook making Instagram and Facebook memes. Right. About Esau and about, you know, the children of Israel. That don't make you a prophet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Prophets are always would always be sent out to prophesy in their uh, particular region or against certain kingdoms. If you don't have works out, you know, if you don't have works that line up with what Yahweh Bashima was shy said, dude, mm -hmm. you're not a prophet. That's why I scripture speak about false prophets. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Okay. And That's a lot right. of a lot of guys that know the Israelites are false prophets. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. I, I got something real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I yep, got, yep, got yep. something real quick. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Whoever you want to break it down. This is uh Ecclesiastes 3 and 19. <laughs> Many are in high in a high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says yeah. Uh, mysteries are revealed unto the unto the meek. All right. So another That's precept cool. proving that that the mysteries are for uh, those who are who are meant to understand it. You know. Mm -hmm. You want that, your brothers want that, yeah. Too. And the, the meek also, that's that's another metaphor for the elect, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says, What the, um, it says, the meek shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. Who's going to inherit the earth to come? The elect, man. That's right, all right. It all boils down and, and, and goes back to the elect of Yahweh Shah, man. You know, 
And these these particular individuals, as it says, what the, the, the secrets was given unto them, man. That's right. Huh? You know, it wasn't given to everybody. Yeah. And just to go back to your point too, you was like, we ain't, you know, we don't get, you know, mad and upset if, if Jake, whoever don't get it. Because it's good to say that what we're like unto fishermen, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai said, I'll make you uh, fishes of men. So it's only one particular type of uh, fish, if you will, that we're seeking for, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, ca you catch that net, you're going to pull up, you know, bad fish. Yeah. But hey, we think, toss them back and deal with the fish that's that's, there. that's meant yeah. to be there, man. Yeah. You, you know? don't get mad at the, you know, all, all bent out of shape because you got a bad the <laughs> bad fish. Just throw it back out, man. Right, throw it right, you ain't right. going to jump in the water and, and choke slam it back into the lake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, DDT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like no nah, man, just throw it back out, man. That's right. That's you know, saying, uh, and like like the brother mm -hmm. say, you deal with the fish you caught. That's right. That's yeah, right. like that saying, uh, I'm cry over spoiled milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's spoiled. It's spoiled. It's man, boring, you know? huh? And that's and it's we we just have to rejoice and be glad that Yahweh Bashima was shy, um, see, deemed us worthy to receive these uh these mm -hmm. mysteries and these secrets, man. These are things that go back uh, uh, millenniums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last writings that we have, which is the writings of uh, John, the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. that's about two millenniums ago. Right. So we, we should rejoice and be glad that we're able to come to the understanding of these revelations, man. And, and we give them, we give these revelations unto those whom Yahweh Bashim al uh bless their ears and, and bless their eyes. That's right. That's right. Okay? Because you got to have a, a particular level of spirituality to receive this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? A, a nigga, a nigga hanging out at the two, at the, at the dollar store is not gonna get the truth, man. And hanging on the corner by the ice coolers selling dope, he's not gonna get the truth, right? You know, it's not for him. You can't get bent out of shape because because he can't get it. Okay, it's just it, it, it boils down to what we're gonna do with the secret. That's right. And a lot of guys fumble it. They fumble. Yeah. You know, they let the truth escape them. You know, you got. Characters that used to be a part of Great Millstone is popping up out of the woodwork now, uh, focusing on the wrong, um, you know, the wrong thing right now, man. All right. the prophecies kicking off, the major events taking place. You just had the uh, the Russia and America, uh, you know, uh, uh, pretty much backtrack on the INF mm -hmm. treaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is basically now is going to lead into a, a nuclear arms race. And Jake worried about you know simple stuff, man. Right. Because they let the secrets escape them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And ultimately, it wasn't for them. You know? So we just have to hold on and be meek. Because remember, the scriptures say that the, the mysteries are revealed unto the meek. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Once, you start, once you start getting puffed up and proud and start thinking that you the cream of the crop, those secrets begin to leave you, man. They mm -hmm. can't rest with you, man. The Lord can't yeah. deal with no high-minded, proud dude, man. That's you right. Know? That's right. I had uh, something real quick. Time. Going back to the uh, the point of how basically um, the prophets always had, Lord always gave the prophets these secrets, and, and every lifetime they come back, you know the truth has always been brought back to them, man. And it's the same thing today. This is um, Ecclesiastes twenty seven and uh, nine. It says the birds will resort unto their like, mm. so will truth return unto them mm. that practice in her. Ooh, you know, yeah, yeah. so will truth return unto them that practice in her. That's why we have to constantly be uh, in, in the spirit of rehearsing the righteous mm -hmm. acts, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, watching the watching the videos, watching the prophecies, you know, praying. You know, um, all these are just a form of practice. You know, fellowshipping, um, reading, studying, uh, meditating. Mm -hmm. All of these things are, are are part of the practice. Okay, mm -hmm. and the truth on departure. Right. It won't leave you. You know, you got people, you got people out here that you know has perfected and become masters of their particular craft in whatever it is, whether it's basketball, football, boxing, whatever the case may be. And they practice in that particular uh area so much that even if they, you know, went a, a year or two years, when they go back and get introduced to it, they will still have those fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they they their spirit was locked into their craft, okay. So even if they did take a, a, a year, like Michael Jordan, for instance, Michael Jordan hadn't played in the NBA and I don't know how long, but I guarantee you, you get on a basketball court with him, he still can ball because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he practicing. Yeah. So that way, right. it, his craft is not going to depart. It's not going to leave. 
So we have to be in that spirit of just taking these secrets that Yahweh Bashimah Shai gave us and constantly, you know, work, push them out, get into it, push it out, get, get deeper into it, push it out, get back into it, push it out, okay? Because you got, you got guys out here that, they, you know, it, it got to be an even trade-off. Okay. Right, right. If you put, if you, if you read a lot, you need to be out speaking. You need to be a part of a camp. Mm -hmm. You can't just be a dude that just do all kind of reading. You are gonna bug yourself out. Right. You right. ain't, you yeah, ain't yeah. You gonna go too deep. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta push that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or if you, if you out on the highways and byways and you speaking and you're not reading, you are gonna burn out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. it gotta be a, a balance. You get it in, you put it out. You put in, you put out. You put in, put out. And that's how those secrets constantly. Uh, the Lord reveals more unto you in the distance of time, mm -hmm. you know, That's right. through the diligence, you know. Right. Uh, you had something? Yeah, I got something. Okay. This is uh, John 15 and 15. I'll start at 14. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not his, it's like it, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. God bless God. Yeah, he said uh, yeah. all things. Right. All things that, that the Lord mm. uh, revealed unto Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai revealed unto the body. Okay? Everything that, that we need to know is contained right here in these scriptures. Man. That's right. And that's a that's an act of mercy mm -hmm. from Yahweh Bashim Shai to reveal those secrets unto us in the latter days, man. Because we need these things, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our lives depend on these secrets, man. That's right. Because in turn, when we understand what, what's to come, we can better prepare ourselves to, to, to brace for it. But if we brace it for impact. But if you don't know that something is coming your way and you get hit, it, it, it's going to have a, a, a more detrimental effect on you than when you brace for it. So we need to know these secrets in these times, man. And that through the mercies and the grace of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, we're able to, uh, to, to uh, you know, partake in these secrets, man. Mm -hmm. and, and fortunate enough to even go out and proclaim these secrets, man. Mm -hmm. to, to warn these people, to blow that horn, man. Mm -hmm. To sound that trumpet, you know. Uh, you know, to warn the, the, the Israelites of what's about to happen to them, man. Okay? Now, it's going to be some Israelites that ain't going to take heed to the warning. So be it. But we, right. we was out there. That's right. You yep. know? Yeah, that's right. It says, uh, verse 16, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And hey, just like the brother said, that's a hey, uh, uh, you didn't choose the Lord, the Lord chose you. Okay, mm -hmm. scripture saying many are called, but few are chosen. You know, so if the Lord chose you, it says what that you should go out, it says you should go and bring forth fruit. What does that mean? That means action. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, not, not just inputting all this information. Uh, uh, the scriptures also say, um, uh, who who has a light and go and hunt, uh, hide it under a bushel? Yeah. You know, so that's right. essentially what you're doing. You know, just getting all this knowledge, getting all the all these secrets. You know, if if the Lord tells you a secret and says, "All right, now go, now go," uh, He commands you to go tell everyone, mm -hmm. and you don't do it. Mm -hmm. That's wicked, man. That's you hide you hiding His light. Yep. You're that's taking right. His talent and you're burying it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, but it says, and that your fruit shall remain, that who that whatsoever you shall ask of my father in my name, he may give it to you. He may give it you, you know. So hey, and, and that's what it's all about, asking the Lord to give you more of more of a portion of his spirit so that you can uh output more, you know, so that you can uh, uh edify more men and bring in more fruit. Because why wouldn't you want to be abundant? You know, that's right. right. Now. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, I got some real quick. Go ahead. This is a uh, Psalms chapter uh, 25 and 14. Mm -hmm. It says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him mm -hmm. and he will show them his covenant. You, you had that. Yeah, right? that spirit. Uh, spirit. 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 You got yeah. to this, the secrets of the Lord with them that uh, fear him, man. Which again, who are the ones that fear uh, how about Shimi how shot the elect, man? Mm -hmm. You know, we had that. We had that reverence. You know, we had that, that, that that high respect, mm -hmm. and we fear the Lord, man. So what? He 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 entrusted us to have to have this, these secrets, man. It wasn't revealed to everybody. 
Mm -hmm. King David again, Baruch Shah. This is our Psalms 25 and 14. Mm -hmm. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Yeah, hey, basically, man, the cat, the cat is out the bag, so to speak. Man. Like you mentioned earlier, how Esau tried to uh, uh, try to hide the truth and paint uh, falsehoods and lies. Mm -hmm. All right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah, the Lord has given his secrets to the, to his men. Mm -hmm. All right, to make it manifest to, to the world, man. Go ahead. It says, and he will show them his covenant. He will show them his covenant, man. That's his promise. His, his promises, right? You know, hey, we, we hey, we, we know what the promises are, man. We know that what we are the Israelites. Yep. All right, we know that uh, the promises that was made to our forefathers. Yeah. You know how Esau tried to try to cover it after it and steal it. Yep. You know, but through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushua and His mercy, the truth has been revealed, man. Yeah. You know, and now Esau's scrambling and he's trying yep. to hide and slander, slandering. Mm -hmm. Lying, yeah, but it ain't working, man. Yeah, because hey, it was a point in time mm -hmm. where you know, before we woke up to the truth, we never knew that we had a promise, right? Right, that the Lord had promised. We, we didn't know that the Lord had promised certain things to our forefathers, or at least I didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure other brothers, right? Would right, say right. The same. Uh, yeah, yep. you know, you had right. no idea that the kingdom of heaven was promised to your forefathers, mm -hmm. and that you, you know, so now that we have these secrets, you know, we're, we're blessed, that's right. We blessed to be able to receive these secrets because a lot of people they they look at it like it's a bad thing. Like, damn, what's so what's so bad about you know you being on the end of, of, of a promise? Yeah, you know, right. you want everybody else to be. If I made a promise with this brother, why would he be mad because I didn't make a, a, the same promise with somebody else? Well, if you gonna make that promise with me, you gotta make it with them too. The brothers on like, hey man, shit. The brother said if I do this, he gonna do this for me. Mm -hmm. You know what yep. I'm saying? Hey, well, whatever you got going on, that's on you. Right. Yep. Well, that's how Jake did with Esau. You got the promise, but you want to include, you get mad because Esau ain't included in your promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's absolute coonery. Yeah, it's stupid. Yep. You know? And that, and that goes to show that the Lord really only deals with those that fear him. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, those secrets are revealed unto the, unto the humble servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai that always come back in the regeneration and seek his name. Yeah. Seek his ways, try to do the right thing in the spirit. Okay, those are the men that the Heavenly Father is dealing with, is raising up to proclaim these prophecies, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and if I could say, you know, there's there's comfort and and knowing the truth also, because um, you know, we know that that there's gonna be a reward, okay, for our works, you know, and a lot of these people that are that are in ignorance, all right, they they're just living their life and they think after death. That's it. Right. You know, they don't, they're not, uh, they don't have the understanding that, oh, okay, after America is, is done away with or whatever, you know, they you know, they don't have the understanding that, damn, there's something better. Mm -hmm. There's actually something better. They think, you know, this, this life is just it, mm -hmm. you know, but there's actually, there's an actual comfort and knowing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, man. That's right. Uh, you know, beautiful. That's beautiful. right. Mm -hmm. You got some was it? Yeah, it's, I got like two more. Uh, this is uh this is Colossians. Oh, yeah. That's what I was gonna get about it. Okay. Kind of uh Colossians uh one. I started uh I started, started twenty five. It says, uh wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the most high, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the most high, mm -hmm. even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations. And if I could say, what's yep. one of the mysteries? The mystery of iniquity. Mm -hmm. We say he doth already work. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. let's talk. And, and that was a, that was a mystery at one point in time. Who was the devil? Yep. Who was the who was the son of perdition? Mm -hmm. Because Esau had hid himself like a serpent in the desert. Yep. He, he he hid himself. But now that secret, that mystery, okay, that's just one of many mysteries that the Lord used the prophets to reveal, starting with. Uh, of course, you know, King Masha, uh, Abba Bivens, uh, High Priest Arya, Elder Yaiqua, uh, um, all the great men that came before us that went into these breakdowns and, and, and laboriously uh, 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 spent hours reading these scriptures mm -hmm. so that we can go into them nowadays. That's right. They went into the breakdown on Esau, the breakdown on Babylon, the breakdown on the Israelites, and through the Spirit, you know, we were risen up right up under that, that order. Mm -hmm. Apostle Tahar, Apostle Bar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Ricard. You know, mm -hmm. these are the, the, the mysteries that, that, that 
you know, the same mysteries that Paul had, they have now. Yep. And more. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Yep. I want to throw this in there, too, for that word uh, mystery. You got number one next to it. For the word mystery, it says hidden truth or mm. secret. Mm. <laughs> so hidden truth. Hidden truth, man. You know, the yeah, truth is hidden for a period of time when like the Taiwan just broke down. Mm. But now what? It's been made manifest, man. Through the spirit of the high by our shy, through the labor of, of, of our of our elders and our teachers, man. All right. So I read verse 26 again. It says, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there you go. You know, the truth has been made, been made manifest, man. Mm -hmm. You know, now like the prophets of old that wrote these writings, they're back on earth today, breaking them down, man. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, of uh, uh, bringing out these these uh these 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 uh secrets, man. That's right. Yeah. You know, making it made manifest to the saints, which mm -hmm. the saints is Israelites That's primarily right. uh starting with the elect, man. That's right, you know. But uh yeah, that, that's pretty much it on that. I had another yeah. one too. I got, I'm, I'm gonna throw this in there real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Yep, yep. You made a point. This yep. is um, taking Ezra 6 and 28. Mm -hmm. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been hid mm -hmm. so long without fruit shall be declared. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, you know, that's links right up with what the brother just brought out mm -hmm. um, about the mysteries that have been hid from generations is now uh, being made manifest to the saints because mm -hmm. the truth was under attack. Yeah. Uh, I think this guy named is Robert Orwell, and he has mm -hmm. a quote that says, uh, "You know, uh, uh, truth in the in the time of world deceit is an act of war." Mm. Woo. Damn. Okay, so he said, "Truth in in the time of world deceit is an act of war." Man. That's why mm. he's uh, is attacking, uh, you know, the truth. Okay, he's attacking uh, the the he's attacking Great Millstone that because. Is. This is the hundred percent true doctrine, you know, and that's why there there's an attack. Not only is it attack on on Great Millstone and, and Israelites, there's an attack on truth in general. Esau is mm -hmm. is getting rid of a lot of these uh, uh, third party um, news outlets, and he's trying to label these things fake news. Right. All right. Uh, they um they just I just saw an article where uh, Esau is now making uh, conspiracy videos harder to find. I seen that too. Yeah, yep. yep. I got that quote real quick. Right, yep. Yep. It says, um, this is from George Orwell. I said Robert, but it's George Orwell. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, <clears throat> in the time of deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's revolutionary. And hey, and, and, hey, uh, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, being a prophet is revolutionary. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's you know, it's, you basically, uh, uh, changing this whole uh uh system okay just by just by the information because information is is a heavy thing Info when you have correct information in in an age of misinformation mm -hmm. and incorrect information it, it it's powerful man yeah you know because you're you're not um just like uh you know we always watch that movie the matrix the matrix is a perfect example because basically you're uh, uh, you're awake, okay, to to the the reality, okay. Right. I got uh, a quick. Uh, was that it? Yeah, uh, I got just one more because he got one more quote. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, another one, and that's how you know he's a devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he yeah. says, if you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself, and that's where the scripture goes mm -hmm. into what it's the scripture say uh, you have inherited lies from your fathers. Mm -hmm. Yep, you know yep. he saw lied to his mm -hmm. goddamn self uh, and his own people to keep to uh, to keep that secret of them being the the, the, uh, the son of perdition. Mm -hmm. That's right. So he yep. had to lie to them and, and call them white to put mm -hmm. that that um that vibration of pureness, you know, on them. You know, so he 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 hid the truth from himself. Mm -hmm. So that they there you go. That's why the Lord raised up prophets to just give the whole breakdown of the oh, schematics, man. man. <laughs> Hey, Obadiah, Obadiah says, uh, yeah, yeah. the pride of thine own, own heart has deceived thee, mm -hmm. right? You deceived your damn self. I got a precept off the comment board yeah. uh, from the brother Kassab. Oh, oh, uh, this is Jude 1 and 5. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And you got a hey, this mm -hmm. this precept yes, that proves reincarnation. There, there you go. Yep. You know, it's like someone calling me, but it says, uh, 
It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. So how do, if, if reincarnation isn't, isn't a, a, a thing in the scriptures, or if it isn't, you know, a, 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 you know a, if it isn't in the scriptures, if it isn't a real thing, then, then how, how did we once know this? Exactly, exactly. You know? Exactly. All right. But hey, that goes to show, uh, just to back up uh, your brother's points, is, uh, you know, the fact that, that you know, this thing is, is has been hidden for so long, mm -hmm. okay? And now it's just being brought back up. Now the Lord is actually, uh, uh, you know, he tapped, tapped our pineal glands, you know, tapped our spirit. <laughs> he tapped our spirit to actually to grasp it again. You know? Activate it. Activate it, yeah. You know, uh, usually when you look at these movies, these superhero movies or, or, or you know, movies where somebody got to take down a bad guy, they got to go find this particular thing, maybe in the desert somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's going to help to overcome the wicked one. And usually it's laying dormant somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, yep. somewhere dormant, you know, it's collecting dust. Under the ocean then, or yeah, something. Yeah, under the ocean. And then usually they have to find it and do what? And just put something on it and then it activates. Mm -hmm. So that movie, uh, Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To the desert. Yeah, Power Rangers. Right. He had to fight his, uh, what was that, like stepbrother or something? Mm -hmm. He had to go to, he had to go to some damn desert. Yep, mm -hmm. and, and activate Saudi Arabia. Yep, they activated. Hey, that's the same yep. thing in uh in the movie uh the Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, yep, yep, same thing. Yep. And, and, and in the old yep. one, with, with, uh, I don't know if your brother seen it, but with with the the, the, the gremlin name was Ivan Ooze, and they had to go to another planet and activate their spirits. Mm -hmm. and it was called the power source or something like that. Mm -hmm. And and ultimately, that's what the Lord does with the elect. You know, we hear, you know, engulfed in the ways of the world, and then mm -hmm. eventually the Lord activates our spirit and brings us out of that dormant state, mm -hmm. you know, to overcome the evil. Right. Okay? So that's why the Lord say, uh, uh, Israel is my battle axe, weapons of war, and with mm -hmm. thee will I break and subdue the nations. Okay? How are we subduing and breaking down the nations? With this truth. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's, that's right. all we need. That's, that's right. right. All, we do, all we have to do is just stand before the face of such that have afflicted us tell them the truth keep the doctrine you are an edomite if you're not an edomite and you you vehemently be believe that you're not an edomite explain to me how you're not an edomite right because we can explain to you how you are an edomite mm -hmm. so now you need to do a video <laughs> breaking down who the edomites yeah, are that's right and that's if you right. can't then wear the shit <laughs> that's right yep. that's how truth works yeah yep. hey, and that's if i can say mm -hmm. that's that's really what's causing all the um of uh, war Hoopla, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you saw you trying to make a nice These guys are they militant, they got guns, they wear all black. Right. They're trying to kill us. No, bro. It's because we're bringing the truth out. It's tear, tear you behind mm -hmm. up, man. Yep, yep. And you don't know how to react, man. Yep. You know, these words have power, mm -hmm. man. You know, the mm -hmm. scriptures is likened unto a sword, man. Yep. You know, when we do these videos on, on how and byways, you know, through the spirit of your how your how by shooting out shot swinging his sword man yeah you don't know how to deal with it yeah you know but you try to paint it as if we you know we're just these terrorists and we're just violent right mm -hmm. you know taking video clips and that's witchcraft man yeah, yeah. Like brothers you know? some brothers ain't never been arrested man right Hush. <laughs> somebody you know? probably got no record at all yeah no record at all no traffic traffic ticket yeah <laughs> some brothers barely even got traffic ticket then yeah what about ticket man yeah work post <laughs> that some brothers more law abiding than you got them that's right yeah. <laughs> you, you know, know? <laughs> yeah, that's right that's right <laughs> and if i could add to your point Tazmo, because uh <laughs> as far as the edomites you know uh brother made a good point the other day the fact that um uh for you to say that that the so-called white man is not the edomites then you have to prove who the Edomites are. Mm -hmm. That's right. Who is it then? Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, like these guys will say, uh, 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 the Edomites are done away with, like Apostle R always says, when, when, and where, you know, when and where were the Edomites done away with? And these are questions that these people don't have answers to. So, hey, this, you can't do nothing against the truth before the that's truth. Right. You know? That's right. Everyone's got it. Yep. And that's, that's the absolute truth, like what the brother just beautifully said, man. You know, and then Esau, you have a lot to pay for. You right. know, the dirt was just coming out. You know, we ain't going to uh, get all carnal with you devils, man. Just bring the truth out, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Getting all in an uproar and mad. And, and, and you know, now now we're going to you know, be passionate about it. Right, right, we right. We don't have to necessarily, you know, cower, you know. Right. But we, we just going to, because you know what hurts you devils is, is when a man can properly 
break you down like a like an improper fraction. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Without being without screaming and yelling. Yeah, they they they, they hate that. They hate that. Yeah, they hate that. You know, yeah. they hate it. It, yeah. it. You know, because the truth. Mm -hmm. They hate truth. They hate to be told the truth. They love lies. Mm -hmm. So when you can just look a, a devil in his face and smile and be facetious like he does to people, mm -hmm. you know, smile and you know, you know, joke at them, be real condescending towards them with the truth. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the, the that's the worst death you could die. Yeah, because mm -hmm. your spirit is exposed. Mm -hmm. that's right. We see you. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. This devil's uh worst worst uh threat is uh an intelligent <laughs> an intelligent minority yep. or you know Israelite. Yep. But an intelligent Israelite that, that doesn't have to go to insults and, and can you know carry an intelligent conversation and cut your ass up, man. Yep. He no college degree, mm -hmm. no type of uh mm -hmm. yeah, scholastic yeah. excellence, mm -hmm. you know, just straight up and down facts. So point for point is right. Yep. <laughs> just, just straight up and down true facts got an answer for everything yeah you know <laughs> that makes esau squirm okay because hey, that serpent yeah. is being revealed you got it and this guy this comedian paul mooney he got a, a little bit where he says uh basically one of the things that scare uh white people is a nigga that read man yeah yeah that's one of the things mm -hmm. they, they terrify screaming you know you know mm -hmm. like in a horror movie man mm -hmm. you see a jake that read and that know something it's like i can't read they, they they squirm at that, man. Yep. You know, because a lot of these That's devils, right. uh, some of these devils, they know the 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 uh, the background of their truth, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know they come from a line of bloodthirsty vampires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? That's right. They yep. know they come from a uh, rape, robbery, and murder, mm -hmm. incest, homosexuality, deception. They know these things because they read. So when they find another uh, a so-called minority. You know, like a Hispanic, Native American, or a black man who loves to read, mm -hmm. they always want to pick your brain. Yeah, pick your brain. Yeah, you know, yes. find out anything about us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, we know. <laughs> yeah, or uh, a bad movie to watch. If you ever watch that movie, uh, They Live, mm -hmm. um, uh, when he first put on the glasses, uh, um, basically he could see the, the, the demons or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the, the lady in the, in the supermarket, it buzzed, pulled his clip up um they live you should see that clip but basically mm -hmm. uh she was like she was like uh there's one that can see yep. you know yeah mm -hmm. they like like the brother you mm -hmm. said yeah, that hebrews 4 and 12 that mm -hmm. hebrews 4 mm -hmm. and 4 and 12 is, is a cold cut man. yeah mm -hmm. the word does damage the word does hellified damage it do. you know it, it, and it causes us to be able to to see mm -hmm. you know because it's a two-edged sword we get cut by the sword we get I've been cut by the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. But guess oh, what? Yeah. We got we got the oil, the ointment to heal that. that right. Yeah. You devils don't. Mm -hmm. That's your problem. You don't have nothing to heal that wound because it's a deep cut. It cuts into your whole history. Mm -hmm. yeah. We get cut individually. Right. As an individual. Right, right. When 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 we go in on Esau, that's a line, a seed of cuts. Mm -hmm. We cut in the whole seed. You know, and that 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 wound can't be healed, man. Okay, that wound cannot be healed, man. Mm -hmm. America won't won't be healed. Right. Okay, after the Lord finishes with America, it won't be healed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's mm -hmm. that's one of the secrets. Yeah, I that, say, that, yeah. that's the problem yeah. possess. That's mm -hmm. right. Whether you want to receive it or not, that's a personal problem. <laughs> you know, that's mm -hmm. right. Yep. Whether you Edomites believe you the prophets or want to take heed of, that ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a personal problem. Right. You gotta take that up with yourself. That's something you gotta figure out. Yeah. yeah. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you this, the word of the Heavenly Father gonna come to pass. That's it. So whether you want to come out your mouth and say, yeah, those those are the prophets or not, or whether you want to believe us or not, that ain't got absolutely yeah. nothing to do with us. Right. That's right. a personal issue. You gotta iron that out. <laughs> but I guarantee you that the will of your how about your mouth shall will be performed hundred percent. That's right. And that's why you're scared. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why you're scared because although you try to set up your propaganda and your schematics, yet and still you got to live with the reality of, I wonder if what they're saying is right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. When you go behind closed doors and you cut them cameras off and you go back home, regardless of how you try to smear us and put us on whatever list, you are still living with that reality, subconsciously living with the reality of, I wonder if what they're saying is true. 
Mm-hmm. And that's what's eating your ass a lot. Is eating my, uh, they go home and uh, lay in the bed in the dark, stare at the ceiling. Type in and Edomite then, on Google. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you staring at the ceiling, uh staring staring at the ceiling and uh and you know, brothers uh uh yeah. voices be in the back of the head like yep. you're the you're an Edomite. Yep. And then you they know? go to Google, type in Edomite, then look at the images like wow, like like you know, standing on hard like damn man. Yeah, put his glasses on. Yeah, yep. Looking at scriptures now, typing in Edomite in the Bible search. Uh then you come back to work, you know, like like you ain't no, nah, it's yeah. true. Lighting y'all's ass Lighting up. Lighting you up. I got something real quick off the uh, common board. Go ahead. That's from GMS uh, North Carolina 24. They, uh, they hate him that, uh, Amos 5 and 10, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, mm-hmm. and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So that's right basically, uh, you know, following up with uh, what we're saying is, hey, this, this truth, Okay, uh, uh, you know, we're because we're rebuking the wickedness out of this world. All we're doing is exposing this devil, and they hate it. Mm-hmm. Okay, they it says they hate him that rebuketh in the great in the gate, yep. and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So all we're doing is just you know speaking the right things, uh, uh, pushing out the doctrine, edifying our people. That's right. You know, and we we ain't uh, insulting this devil. All we're doing is just bringing out cold, truth. cold hard facts. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You know, mm-hmm. let's go into the, tr- the Treaty of Fort Laramie. Yeah. You know, that's a fact that you broke that treaty. Mm-hmm. Okay? Fact. Mm-hmm. Twice. You revised it and broke it again. Then built Mount Rushmore. You bloody devil. Right. <laughs> is that not that's right. That's, yeah. the, is that's, that's, part not our, that's part of our history, man. It's documented factual history, man. <laughs> that you got to deal with, man. Big yeah. facts. You know, yeah, big. <laughs> yeah, your past big is facts. coming back to haunt you. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, all because the prophets, you know, were raised up by the mighty hand of Yahweh Bashanah was shot, man. Now you and your ass is grass. You know, this <laughs> right. stuff this stuff can't go back. It can't go nope. back in under wraps. Nope. You, okay? Even if you try to just come with a full a full fledged attack on the elect, you still, you still ain't going to be able to uh, have an advantage. Because the Lord gonna lift up a standard, that's so right. you, you cream, <laughs> you fucking cream, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. You know, like like the brother I put on the comment board said, Satan, um, Satan giving it, Satan giving them niggas bad dreams. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. niggas is bugging out behind this truth, man. Hey, hey, the same way how we brothers are getting visions and spiritual yeah, dreams is heavy. Yeah, like, like, like his brother said, man, on, mm-hmm. on, the, on, the, on the other on the other side, man, he saw us getting get nightmares, man, tormented, mm-hmm. tormented. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, got visions of him being destroyed. Yep. Hey, like, cause you know, at the last, yep. at the last second, them evil spirits they gonna forsake you, Edomites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna right. get no answer. They leading you to destruction. You think they with you though? That's but right. really, those left hand spirits is with you. How about you know, shot? They I, work. I, they I, working on the yes, left hand yes, side yes, for yep, us. Yep. That's right, nigga. How about how you like them apples? That's right. <laughs> you know. That's right. How you like them apples? Let me hit you with this. Satan, Satan tempted, Satan tempted Job. So that Job could be perfected, right? Mm-hmm. So he, he essentially he was like Job's sparring partner, man. That's right. That's right. Yep. You know, yeah, giving him right. body blows and that's you right. know, make you know, seeing that he fit, and, right. and, and he he said that he told the Lord, Lord, this man is righteous. Mm-hmm. See, and if it, for him to do that, Satan, Satan had to get clearance from from the Most High. Mm-hmm. Yep. He ain't working, operating on his on his own yep. uh, merits, man. And the Most yep. High said, you know? "Hast thou?" Uh, as thou seen Job, yeah, you know, perfect and and you know, yep. up, up. Did upright, you know, that's right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's the same thing yep. with, with the elect. Mm-hmm. You know, when you come with that with that that last that last minute um, attack on the elect, then them, them evil angels are gonna be like, bye, mm-hmm. you know, bye, because <laughs> they working with the Lord. That's right, mm-hmm. that's right. They just right. working on the left hand side. Left-hand they side. don't. They right. align. They are deceiving you, Edomites, man. They're gonna that's expire. Right. You know, they're gonna expire. That's right. They, 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 they helping us when we get tempted by Satan. Mm-hmm. They doing yeah. that to make us better. That's to right. pur- help uh, purge us, man. Yeah. So they working. They working on the left hand side for y'all by shine. Therefore, mm-hmm. you can do nothing against the truth, man. That's right. Okay. This is a wonderful thing, man. You devils are fully exposed. Your nakedness is out there. You know, and, 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 and you know, and, and there's more secrets that the Lord gonna bring out too, man. That's right. There's That's more right. stuff the Lord gonna reveal, man. And he's gonna use the prophets and the men of the Lord to do it, man. Yep. Who's we the only ones speaking about the coming of a so-called black man with UFOs, man? 
shooting lasers out. Who else is revealing that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who else is going going into that uh, uh, that particular revelation? Who's going? What Christian or anybody for that matter is prophesying or speaking uh, uh, about a, 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 an, an invasion where so-called minorities are going to be beamed up? Only the prophets speaking about that particular secret. Right. All right. So these are the things that that the Lord housed in in these particular vessels. Man. You know, mm -hmm. that's right. You got something else? Uh, yeah, I had one real quick one. Okay, Esau seems getting on his monkey ass. Monkey ass. <laughs> uh, it's Jeremiah forty nine and ten. Well, I have made Esau bear. And I, this is as we're talking about secrets. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Yeah, and that's the the the, the uh the fulfillment of that prophecy when the mystery of iniquity shall be uh mm -hmm. revealed. Man. That's right. The son of the son of yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that's Esau. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. God, that's that, that's Esau. Mm -hmm. That goes right into Isaiah, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we uh, Jeremiah spoke about revealing Esau. Jeremiah forty nine, you yep. know, so how the, how the things are Esau sought sure. out yep. the yep. prophets. That's right. Mm -hmm. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, which is the power of the whole universe. That's how Esau is revealed, man. Okay, mm -hmm. and you you devils, you want to try so bad to shut the mouths of the prophets by doing stuff like hiding conspiracy theory videos on YouTube. Now they're gonna make it harder to find certain videos that expose your ass. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna keep a lie up. They'll keep they'll keep yeah, your videos yeah. up about lies and deception. It's total false history, but they're gonna hide the truth and call it conspiracy theories, man. That's right. why the Lord gonna do something to expose yeah. your ass on a greater level. That's right, they'll push, right? And that's why, hey, that's why through the spirit of Fox is being exposed, mm -hmm. you know. Like, like you said, keeping the lies up. Fox is one of the biggest uh, stations, man. And they mm -hmm. they constantly are, uh, uh, you know, putting out biased, false information. Always. You know, racist information. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about they trying to paint us as the new face of terror? Well, mm -hmm. how about this? How you like this? There's been 27 mass shootings this year in America in the month of January. Guess who guess who was on the on the other side of the gun? A so-called white man. Mm. So who's the real terrorist? Right. Who's the real murderer? Who's the real threat to mm -hmm. society? The so-called white man is, and and right. that's that's historically proven. Yeah. You are a nation full of terrorists. You are a nation that birthed the Ku Klux Klan, the U.S. Cavalry. Okay, Cust General Custer broke hellified treaties. Yep. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher yeah, yeah. Columbus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who are those people that, that drop bombs on, on, on Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma? You are a seed of terrorists. So let's not play the games. That's right. Let's deal with the facts. Let's go. You if you want to do it, but you're not gonna deal with the facts. So the Lord is gonna put the spirit on the man of the Lord to deal with the facts yeah. and expose your ass on the on a global level, nigga. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Cause you the real nigga. nigga. Yeah, he is. Black, black, crunchy nigga, man. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you, you had more? No, nah, that was that was it. Uh, do you want to yeah, get ready to close out? Yeah, I'll get a few off the pre, off the comment no, board. You, you have some? Yeah, I, I just read through them. Yeah, we can try to close <laughs> them Brother Kasab, Psalm 715, it says, He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch Ooh. which he made. Yep. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent Damn. dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Damn. Woo! That's, about, that's, that's a bad about, precept, that's a bad bro. Scripture, bro. And, and that's that's what's happening, bro. Yep. You know that's what's happening, man. You know, you know, the Lord raised up the prophets, gave the secrets and the mysteries to the prophets, and brothers ain't holding their peace on nothing. That's right. Man. Brothers ain't holding their peace on Esau, on the black woman, on Israel, on history, on prophecy, on wisdom. Brothers, even even uh, uh rebuking each other, man. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bringing it all out on the table, man. Putting it out there, man. Okay, that's right. Because the truth must stand. That's right. Okay. Uh please ask us 21 and 27. When the ungodly curse of Satan, he cursed with his own soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what's happening, you know. Um mm -hmm. uh Mr. Brother Barzal, 
Isaiah 42 and 7, take the millstone and grind mill, mm -hmm. uncover thy locks, make bare the legs, uncover the thigh, pass over the uh, rivers. And that's what's going on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau is being fully exposed. Uh, Ham is being fully exposed. Yep. Moab has been fully <laughs> exposed. Gad, uh, 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 you know, the Israelites is fully exposed. Yep. <laughs> you know, everything is exposed. Everybody getting, everything getting brought, brought to, the, to, the, to the forefront. Yep. You know, the great. truth, the truth mm -hmm. of everything is being exposed, whether it's good or bad. It's being exposed, man. All because the Lord put the seat, gave the secrets and manifested the, the, those mysteries unto the prophets. Man. Right. You know, that's so y'all right. must have any closing statements? No, no, that's it. That's it. Time, time. So hopefully, you know, your brother was edified. Uh, you know, the brother watches. I put that lesson together through the spirit. And, hey, man, we just got to stay on that net and keep uh, keep pushing these prophecies and uh, dealing in a manner that's acceptable until you how about you know, shy that will equate to you being worthy to rule the world, man. Just deal right, with right, truth, right, man. Right. World, world rulers have to deal with truth. Got so it. that's all we have to do. Push the word. Bring out these secrets, man. Perform the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Sounds good. So with that, we'll wrap it up. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakapadash. Hey, okay, double honors once again to the apostles and the elders in peace and safety unto the elect of Israel. Shalom to you and your families. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.